now let us see how to construct an uh, hexagon and how to draw its initial positions so first you can draw an xy line here so up a point uh, 1 meter thickness so now for differentiation purpose I am using two color lines here so one color for construction line another one color for uh, or drawing the objects according to their uh, scale okay so now let us construct an uh, hexagon here so now as the reference is easy for horizontal direction so i'll place first a position as a horizontal so base is 30 mm so as you calculate angle so outside angle becomes 60 degree for an uh, hexagon so wait Let us first construct hexagon. So base is 30 mm. So initial first edge is a 0 degree. So second 30, it is 60. Third one is 30, it is 120. Fourth one is 30, angle is 180. So fifth one is 30, angle is 240. So then you can go for join here. Okay. So now as the corner is to be resting on HP so now we'll treat this as a corner which is going to rest on HP here so now let us uh, join all the corner points so to get it as an FX as is the case of pyramid so now let us do nomenclature and uh, let us go for nomenclature here so select a text place here notation A, B, C, D, E, F, so I got a two points here, so one is O, another one is O1, so I've got representation of the axis, so you can just close them, go just place the notations closer to the respective corners. now height of the pyramid is some tmm here height of the pyramid is some tmm let us take a line so from here we'll just draw some tmm line okay so now let us project all the corners to touch the xy line here so we'll project a corner to touch xy line these are the construction lines or reference lines you can just go for changing the like thickness to 0 0.13 okay as well as color okay so now let us remove unwanted portion let us remove unwanted portion now join affix point to the every corner point here Let us go for a little bit zoom over here. So connected every point. So let us draw one uh, horizontal line. That is what a base line here. Right. So let us again go for uh, placing the notations in front view. So now this corner is a dash. So let us place above x y line. Now this corner is B dash. Now this corner is C dash. So now this one is our axis here. Let us convert this one axis. Now let us place here this corner is what a C dash. 
get corner d dash so here hidden edge is hidden corner is e place in a bracket e dash so hidden corner is f place it in a bracket so let us go for zoom check out whether properly placed or not So now this is what initial position. This is what initial position. Next we'll go for orientation of the pyramid, 60 degree to HP here. Axis of uh, this pyramid has to be 60 degree. So here this can, okay. Now, what I'll do, I'll go for move command with copy option here. Now first I will select this entire front view okay, and it will mark some reference point here and I will move over here. Okay. So you turn on copy option to get the extra profile. Okay. Now as the axis is to be a 60 degree rotation to HP, what I will do, I will go for move here I will select rotate option here okay so I'll go for rotate option now we'll select the entire drawing let us wait so this D has to come here okay now we'll go for rotate so I'll we'll turn off copy option here how much you want to rotate? I want to rotate 60 degree. Okay. So now select this entire drawing. Okay. So now keep this corner point as a reference here. So D point is a corner point. So which is resting over the HP. So now you just go for rotation 60 degree. You can just have some reference. Okay. So now let us check how much angle you got here. Let us extend the axis. Let us check. So it is a 30 degree. Actually it is to be 60 degree. So we made a rotation of uh, 60 degree instead of rotation as a 90 degree. Okay. So now let us uh, undo things. So we just undo. Okay. Again go for rotate. Okay. So rotation angle is 30 degree here. So it has to make a 60 degree axis, not a base here. So we've gone for last step as a base. Okay. Rotate. So you place corner point and rotation angle as a 30 degree. Okay. Now let us go for extension of the extension of the axis here extend to next now check out whether axis is 60 degree or not it's 60 degree okay so now project is top view now project is top view so now for the projection or top view so you need to get the reference point from the front view here you need to get the reference point from the front view Now for reference point, so for reference lines, I'll go for 0 0.013 as the thickness of the line. Okay, I'll select this corner and I'll drop a, a line, and I'll select this corner, I'll drop out a line, and I'll select this corner and I'll drop out a line, and I'll select this corner, okay, and similarly this corner, and last you have fx point here, okay. Now once you got it, so again you trace back the horizontal reference lines from previous uh, top view. That is what initial stage top view. Now let us go for zoom. So let us draw the lines here. So now identify the intersection points from front view and from top view.
Now this for this intersection point will give the A here. So let us mark A. Now this point will give the B here. And this point will give the C. And this point will give the D. So this point is E. And this point is F. Now I will just go for zooming. So now let us construct the hexagon shape by passing through all the reference point. Okay. So you just move our cursor here. This is going to give the intersection point here. Okay. So approximately going giving intersection point. Now you got a base. So in this base, you have some uh, base edges that are hidden. So we'll see that one after construction of the slant edges. Okay. So now let, let us place the affix points here. It is what a O. Okay. This point is O. Now let us join all slant edges. Okay. So that is what. Uh, so here we forgotten to place O dash. So here also it is our O dash. Okay. Now let us join all these land edges. So if you are getting confusion, you go for a zoom area option over here. Okay. So you just select zoom area option. Okay. From standard toolbar, and you just place a window. Okay. Now let us join all the land edges. So now you just observe here. So as you're looking from top portion, so the clearly visible slant edges are one, okay, two, and exactly behind this one you got a FO or OF slant edge. Okay. So again you are going to view. So two more uh, slant edges here. So this is what uh, EF. Another one is sorry EO. Another one is OC. Now you just zoom it. So the hidden portions here are this base edge is hidden, this edge is also hidden, as well as you have one more edge. So that is going to be overlapped here. So let us leave it. Okay. So now these are the two base edges which are hidden. Okay. Now to draw the profile view, I will just draw one vertical line here. Okay. So this line indicates x1, y1 line. This line indicates x1, y1 line. So let us make it as a 0.13 thickness line type as a difference one. Okay. So now from this intersection point of the reservoir uh, x1 line, y1 line. So just a draw a line at an angle of 45 degree here. So you check it whether intersected or not. Okay, it's not intersected. So use connect point here. So select this portion as well as this portion. Okay. So now let us you can move over here and just drag and drop. So you check it whether it is angle is forty five degree or not. Okay. Now this line should be zero point one three thickness. Now let us extend all the construction lines. So what you got from previous uh, top view to intersect uh, this uh, forty-five degree line here. Okay. So now from this point, so we just draw the vertical lines again over here. Now, construct 
profile view again you need to extract the construction lines or reference point from previous front view okay. now let us identify the intersection points over profile view now this line related to a corner okay and you just observe you have an a corner line over here so you got an a corner here okay so let us place this a corner as a double dash because it is a profile view now you just identify this line refers to the b corner as well as c corner let us observe here so you got a c corner over here and you got a b corner over here okay so let us mark b double dash and c double dash over here okay so next you got one more corner point so now this is what a d here so you got a d corner point over here so let us mark here it is a d double dash d double dash okay so next you got a e f e here it is got a e double dash so next you got a f double dash here now you just to again go for zoom so to get the hexagonal shape take a line so now here it is got operant point now here you got a corner point so here you got a one more corner point corner point now this profile has to be of 0.5 thickness let us select all objects okay so now select lines so if you want to select multiple objects you just hold down the shift key and you just select the objects one by one okay now let us mark uh, apex point here so what o double dash now you join all the slant edges okay we just check the line type as well as the line thickness okay So now you just observe here. So some of the edges are hidden here. Some of the slant edges are hidden here. Okay. So you just observe here. Now if you are viewing from this left side, this slant edge is clearly visible. This is also clearly visible, and you have a back side that one is also clearly visible. Okay. And these two edges are hidden here because they are going to be come on down side. So you are going to get a hidden here. Okay. So let us select this edge, this edge, and this edge. So now these edges are hidden here. Okay. So now this completes your problem.